Welcome to Brightworks. With everybody being stuck at home, I figured I would uh, make a little video as I was prepping this cam rack for assembly. So, a couple of guys have uh, commented on our YouTube that we're a little crazy with some of our cleaning, but good prep makes for easy, uh, easy assembly. So, a couple of things that we do. First of all, this guy has been... Uh, uh, be blasted and kind of see that it's pretty darn clean already but we're just going around and taking this opportunity because it's the lessons learned to make sure that uh, we're using a uh, this is a cleaning tap it's not a tap it's just uh, it's got three flutes in it so it doesn't do any cutting it just cleans out so we've gone through and made sure that we have uh, threaded these into all of the holes because what you have that attaches uh, up here this is where your tins will attach and the worst thing you can do is you have your whole engine assembled and you realize oh one of these holes isn't cleaned out I'm gonna need to drill and tap it maybe put a time cert in it you don't want to do that when the engine is together you want to do that now so that everything can stay clean. So you've got three holes here, and then this is where your shroud is gonna attach. That goes on the top of the engine. So this will actually sit like this um, on the side of the motor. So if you go through and you just check all these holes, clean them out. Uh, same thing for where the uh, uh, camshaft um, spacer is gonna sit, right? You go through all of those, and then on the back side, this is an MFI motor, so here we don't have a plug. We're actually going to use that area, so we go through, check all those. And then one thing I like to do, and this is certainly uh, going to be a topic for people to say, oh my gosh, can't believe you do that, but simple flat file, not pushing very hard. I just want to make sure that I don't see any high spots. Right When I look here, everything came out clean. If I had any high spots, what I would do is I would pull all of these studs and then go through and make sure we get this flatted. I mean, valve cover leaks, usually it's going to happen on the exhaust side. So if there's anything you can do now to address them so that you don't have to deal with it once you have the engine together, um, you might as well do it. <clears throat> Especially now when everybody's sitting around at home, nothing to do, you can be very, very thorough. Another thing I like to do is take a cleaning die. So this is just a simple cleaning die. Again, it doesn't cut threads, but it has flutes in there to get junk out. And I'll run these down each one of these studs. All right, so 11 on this side, six on the other. You could certainly, if you wanted to, you could use a drill, make this process go a little faster. Um, but I have found that uh, when I tell people to use a drill, you run the risk of cross-threading things or going too fast, too hard, so you screw something up. So again, you should be able to do this, <coughs> excuse me, you should be able to do this by hand. So just a couple little things you can do before you uh, uh, do that. Somebody had used some type of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, holy cow. I don't think I have uh, the allergies figured out just yet. But going through, somebody had used like Indian head or something on here to seal these in the past. Normally, if it was just uh, 574, you wouldn't have all these little pieces and parts. And So take a dull razor blade, just scrape some of that stuff off. Just want to make sure that it doesn't decide, like these little chunks here, they don't decide to come off once you have the engine assembled, right? Because if one of these that's inside this comes out, now you're having to deal with, oh, could it clog a cam spray bar? And we certainly don't want to clog the cam spray bars after we've spent a bunch of time cleaning them and reinstalling them, which we'll do a different video on. So maybe it is an overabundance of caution, but at the same time, it makes the assembly go so much easier 
when you know you've gone through and you don't have any uh, stripped threads. So take it slow, nice and easy. Again, we're not trying to take off any metal when we do this. We're just trying to see if we see any hot spots or feel any hot spots. Uh, and if we do, pull the studs out, flat the whole surface. But uh, this one looks pretty good, so we're not worried about it too much. And then uh, we will ultrasonic clean this one last time, and we'll put it together. So if, uh, if it seems worthy, I'll try to take a video putting it together too. All right, thanks for watching. The only things you need to do this are a little brake cleaner, uh, maybe paper towels, and uh, I like to use Q-tips. So I'll go through each hole, just put a tiny, tiny bit of brake cleaner in there, and then I'll run a Q-tip through it and see, I've already cleaned these and I'm still getting junk out. So never can be too clean. If you have any questions, give us a call or check us out at brightworks.com. Thanks for watching.